to start now. <laughs> I'm great. Ooh. So it's good. What's good? What up? It's me being unprofessional as fuck when you lose the phone. <laughs> so, um, we did this before, and I didn't like the video, so I cut the dish. But I still got the audio. So um, if people like what's going on today, I may end up dropping the audio. Who knows, man? Who knows? Yeah. But uh, you can go ahead and introduce yourself and remember to speak up because that mic's right there. Yeah, it is. What's up, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's your man, Fat Bastard J, you know, checking in. I'm in here, Mobile, Alabama representer. You know, we got here, man. Keep my shit simple. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that's it. Is. He did more simple than you did. Definitely. Yeah, you did real shit. Hey. Are you in this too? Oh yeah. You in the drain? No. Go ahead. Valley hey, yeah. Boy, what's cool. up? Representing 251, going down to the 305. Why did we change? Scary. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, we got Wrench Mob in here. Wrench Mob's over here on the side. Wrench Mob on the side. You can't see him on camera because I didn't set you the You got the Wrench Mob. Yeah. I was like a ghost. Yeah, the dope ass t-shirt on, just know that. <laughs> Keep coming, what? Oh, catch them all! Keep coming, catch them all. With a Pokeball up top. That's what's up. Yeah. I just got a car key on my shirt. <laughs> I just got a polo shirt on. You can't see the horse. Polo shirt. But yeah. So yeah, you want me to start off with some like easy shit? That's what you want. Sure. Okay, it's so I want to go into some serious shit real quick. Let's go. Man. So, I was thinking about this on the way home. I was driving. And I was thinking to myself, like, how people would say, it's way too easy to do this music shit. In retrospect, we got all this technology here. I think it's about the same when you, like, cast it forward. And it's just, it's not really that it's easier. More so, it's just the opportunities are more here today. But it's about, like, the same as how it was before. It's just that we don't have to get on our hit put to the pavement type shit, all we need to do is just get extremely fucking lucky. Like with all these people doing shit today, the chances are like even more slim than you, you could just go to a party and find some shit and be like, oh, that's dope. Now it's like the internet's so massive, you have to randomly stumble across somebody on some random shuffle and be like, oh, who's that? Like, hey, look, like, for example, Discovery Weekly, Discovery Weekly on Spotify, I use that shit religiously yeah. to find me music and even though I am a you know traditional study of the art so I do still go dig you know search YouTube search mixtape site search you know yeah. random shit my little hidden fight that people don't know about yeah. but other than that yeah people are very you know fuck it lack of days lack of days when it comes to you know researching and searching for new music they rely on the radio and the Said social media. I mean, I thought well, yeah, yeah, social trash. media and um, the um, streaming, streaming marks. So. Well, streaming is good for just getting numbers up, but like at this day and age, you almost need like an astronomical amount to even hit that shit. Like, yeah, there's yeah. people who have like 2,000 fans on SoundCloud and like multiple downloads. On yeah, and, like fucking no one fucking knows about them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I've seen it. There's plenty of those people. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. I'm just like, how many plays does it take? 55,000 monthly listens and don't nobody know this guy. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. But I, it's weird to think about how shit was back in the day because I was not able to do that internet shit back in the day. Back when I was doing the whole like promotion shit with a couple of buddies of mine, we would have the flyers and we would go to the mall. And it, we was street work, it was street work. It was major street work back in the day. But we also had the internet. But we knew that if we met these fuckers in, like, in their face... You had, the, you had the boat. You know, you, know, you know, you used the boat, boat to both resources. Yeah. You used the internet at the same time. Get on these streets, man. Make the power boost uh, face-to-face. Yeah, because people actually respect that face-to-face shit. What you need. I want to ask you. There's a bottle right there. Bottle! Hey, please, just ask it on here. That's some friend shit. Still, I will never do that. <laughs> what paper? It's jeans. It's jeans, man. I think I've ruined too many jeans. I'm gonna wear some pairs of jeans. Too many pants. Too many clothes. Yeah. I just bought myself some khakis, and I already regret it. 
Yeah. But they cool though. That they cool. Yeah, damn. Oh yeah, bro. Definitely gotta balance it out. Yeah. <coughs> it's, I think so, that's a problem today. People are relying too much on the internet. <coughs> I mean, the internet can blow you up if you were oh, right moment. I was about to say, with all of my marketing and everything, man, fucking, my shit's taking off a lot more on the internet than <coughs> any other thing. Yeah, because the internet's the way to go to, like, reach a lot of people, for sure. Well, I mean, but it's locally, like, I, can, I can promote a lot easier from the internet than I can do anything else. You know, I'm only one dude. I can't reach 200 people as fast as I can with just tagging them. Yeah, no way. But you almost have to have, like, a... Uh, like how they have back in MySpace days called uh, street teams or fan pages. It's really. still out there, yeah. yeah. For sure. That's a, still a huge way of promoting your shit, man. I got yeah, plenty yeah. of people. Shout out Gary. Shout out Gary. <laughs> um, still out there, like, pushing the shit out of all my shit, like, while I'm asleep. You yeah. Know what I mean? so. Yeah, that's. I've also noticed, like, um, the difference in genre and how people promote this shit. Oh, yeah. Because, like, um, when I was promoting back then with, like, the hardcore shit, it was just, a lot of people would show up even if they didn't like the band because their friends were in it. Yeah. And in hip-hop, it's like, I'm not going to show up even if my friend's there for real, for real, but I may come to this one later. Yeah. But is it really hard to play and I'll show up, that kind of type mentality? Yeah, pretty much. And I'm pretty much on that, but I work six days a week, and I be sleeping all day. Yeah. But whenever I go out there, I try to bring like a gang of motherfuckers out there just to be like, yo, yeah, if I'm sure. leaving my house and I'm a shut in ass motherfucker, y'all coming too. Yeah. This is a moment of vacation. Yes. <laughs> like, come out and do this shit. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. It's from an artist standpoint, like being a performer now, not doing promotion shit, it's weird to see that shit on the other side where, like, the promoter is the one who has to do the work that you were doing. Yeah. And you're like noticing shit like, why are you doing it this way when you could just do it this way? But it's like, whatever method works for them, because Soul Kitchen costs a lot of money to rent out, let's be real. Facts. Uh, yeah. Mary Widow, I don't know how much they cost to rent out, but I mean. Mary Widow's good people. Yeah, they're good they're people. Good work with so, so they'll work with you. Soul Kitchen's not good people either. I mean, they're good people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, they're. Yeah. They're good for massive amounts. Yeah, of if you try to bring, like, if you have one, the money, two, the promotional skills, and three, the resources to like bring a good ass show, show kitchen is definitely the spot. The girls sure. still got yeah. them. If they got a, they got a big room. If you wanna fucking, you think you can pack that bitch out? And they even got a smaller area for the people who got a good amount of crowd, but you know they don't like no. 600, 500 people, maybe 200, 300. That's yeah, really. good. They have something for that. Guy yeah. Have, but. Like, it's a, it's a pretty decent venue for sure as far as the big crowd. And the small crowd can be good. It's can just, be. That's a lot of fucking money for that. Like, obviously, it's a big spot. It's a big name yeah. that's going to cost some money. So you got to promote it as if you're trying you're to get that big room to that small room. Like, you got to... That's it. I will say that that is the only thing I really don't too much, you know, like about elements. I did realize that if it's in the big room, you know, it's going to get, you know, they're going to promote it on the site. You know, you'll see it just about every day on Facebook. But the smaller room events don't get that love. No. I mean, like, even because, though, because it's like the people on the uh, people on the card. We can only do so much as far as the artists go. But like, there's a lot of people on that card that don't know this. Artists, we should only be doing so much. Yeah, but and unless it's our event, I mean, of course we gonna share it on social media and tell people what we gonna be tell our fans. I mean, to be all of this though. Yeah, that's yeah. the no, venue. You, you're the fucking promoter. You're the promoter. Right. Like your promoter is heavier. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right. like, like, heavier yeah. So you trying to keep me for slave labor too? <laughs> then turn around and try to goddamn run out the motherfucking door with the money out the fat. That's some shady shit. And uh, it happens a lot more than you expect. Yeah, it really I does. mean, I can honestly believe it, dude. Because, like, with the rental fee of the place, and then you got to cover the door, plus, like, bar shit. I'm talking about leaving shit behind the motherfucker coming up out of that bitch. Clutching that hole. Yeah. They clutching the shit out the money. <laughs> Secure the bag. It's definitely what they're doing. <laughs> NFL running back, man. NFL running back. Get out of here, boy. Get out of here, boy. We just need um, 
more people in that promotion scene because I think we have an imbalance of like artist and promoter. Definitely. That way, you know, um, we can strong go, out balance. It's a strong out balance. Like at that point, we could be like the ninety nine percent that just promotes each other shows. I don't know. I honestly feel shit. like we got enough promoters here. But, but they're waiting for, I don't know what the fuck they're waiting uh, for, uh, but they're uh, waiting for some reason. They're sitting back observing little shit and they're trying to see, I don't know what yeah, they're waiting on. Uh, but I don't know. Wait to see if we can draw that crowd. I think it's so because to pay off that bill, the crowd ain't gonna come if they draw. Yeah. I, especially here. Bonneville is a fucking, I don't care, I love my city, boy the red said, and everything, but. We a real deal monkey see monkey do ass city. Oh, we yeah. ain't we don't have we we are trying to establish our own music and especially hip hop culture and shit, but it's still not there yet. It should have been there, but it's the power of the, the power of that be, yeah. you know, ain't really got with you know artists it's, to really it's an ethic that just like, like that, it's an ethic that just went down for some reason, or it just like it got to a point where it's like okay, is this right? Is this cool? But then, like, I guess the surrounding people around the person who's blowing up was like, nah, cuz. Like, even with Bates, I said this, I, and that's the thing. Now that I think about it, I realized this younger, before I even started making music, just being a music lover, goddamn. We had Bates, bro. Y'all bringing all these big time X down here and shit. Why the fuck I don't see all, all these stages y'all telling me all these local cats can get an uh, opening or some shit for some of these right. motherfuckers? Talk about Hangout Fest for one second. Yeah, even Hangout Fest. I was, I'm just mentioning Bay Fest. This is a, a, a city, a, a, a city held event downtown. We got three to four stages, and you telling me I can only see a local act on one of the. I gotta go to one of the, either the small stages that ducked off that don't nobody fucking know about. Yeah, right. Or goddamn, they gotta pay some major dumbass stupid amount of money to get on the big stage. That shit never made sense to me as a little kid. I'm like, I, cause I knew local artists got them as a little kid. I'm like, why aren't they on this stage or opening up for this person? It, it's the city, bro. We, this is Mobile, Bay Fest, big, big ass festival. Now that they like, as I got older, I realized how big Bay Fest was. It was just some shit, uh, uh, a thing to me as a kid. But growing up, I'm like, we had a real deal festival in this motherfucking city. Yeah. And they shut it down and they didn't use it properly for the first fucking way. Man, shit sad. Yeah, <laughs> shit, shit sad, bro. No, no, it's like, shit sad. It's like, you can, it's like we can get it up there, but it's the consistency of keeping it up there, keeping the ball up that we just lack on, apparently, as a city. So that's something that obviously New Orleans got over us. A lot of people <laughs> lot of, Just to keep it local, you know, like yeah. New Orleans has that over us, Pensacola has that over us. Fucking bro. Huntsville got that over us. Huntsville. Gee, Birmingham, Birmingham got that over us. <laughs> Atlanta, Tennessee, yeah. Mississippi, <laughs> North Carolina. The whole fucking Southern Mixing and Home got the shit down, goddamn. So yeah. got away. I don't know what it is, or we can't figure out a way just to bring this shit together. Yeah, I'm not. Just, but hey, I don't know. I think, it's, way. I think it's just a community thing because it is a gauntlet. Like, rap, oh, yeah. hip hop is a gauntlet. Like, it really a is. But it's like. And it's a you, business. I understand that too. I mean, it's definitely a business, but. But hear me out on this one. How about you choose the enemies you want to fight later on, help pick them up, and say, I would rather battle you than this fuck nigga over here that's right. getting plays. Right. Why don't we just go that route and just like do that that way like pick up this dude even though like maybe you don't like his shit but you know that he can pull and he actually has a flow that can like rock a lot of people so you're like okay maybe one day we'll be in the same venue we can talk game real quick and we can see who actually has a bigger pull on some like competition shit but still remain neutral on some shit like you ain't gotta like to do his music but it's more like Appreciate the dude for actually putting in the work. Yeah, like I'm saying, the work after his grind. Like that's a, yeah. a lot of music. It's a lot of. I mean, I gonna say it's a lot of people in the city of music I don't like. I mean, but their work ethic is well, like yeah, yeah. They they put in major work behind that and shit. This is, I'm with that shit. Do that. <laughs> but, like, all that shit. It's crazy <laughs> as well as like when you look at the uh, when you look at the work versus the fans on some of these cats. Like you could have. 2,000 fans on your Facebook like, but only 10% engagement, right? Mm -hmm. So 200 people, like two people or something like that. It's, it's more, that's smaller than 10%, but you know what I mean? Like 20 people will like your shit. Or like uh, 4,000 or, nah, 
here's a better one, 1,400 Facebook friends, but only three likes per post or some shit like that. Yeah. That's weird. Bro, but that comes down to content. Yeah. People don't like to read, people like to see. Yeah, but you, you can post I mean? you can post all the shit that you want. It's gotta be one of those like what catches people's eyes and attention and shit. So I think on the artist side, we need to either get a somebody who's good at marketing or get better on our own that's the marketing shit. Save some money in the long run. Mm -hmm. Cause the marketing is the way to go as far as getting your shit out there. So that way you're not self-reliant on the promoter to get your shit out. You can have somebody in your team who's able to do that shit, or you can be that yourself and just like zoom past motherfuckers. And that's what a lot of people do. You a lot of artists are starting to do that. Yeah. That's why the independent game is getting strong, stronger, and stronger. Because, <laughs> yes, like I said, we're tired. Like we're tired of waiting on promoters and all shit. Like fuck it. Yeah, because <laughs> we're we're a fast moving generation, dude. Like oh, yeah. we learned a lot of shit on our own for the most part, or through like people we fuck with. So it's like. The promoter is a key to that door. He ain't gotta do much if we just push through that shit and just like, okay, oh. all we need you to do is just say, yeah, we can get in here and then we can get in there. Or you can just shove them aside and be like, I'm in here right now. Backing down on the like social media thing, that's where like the breakthroughs are coming through right now. Like, I don't know, man, like promoting all the shit. Like, I, you know, I probably have like a good like 100 people like a fucking post if I'm going to go and play a show. Yeah. Like, if I get 5, 10, 15, 20, I'm happy as fuck about that. Yeah. Because I know that it's effective. As long as a person or persons are coming out, then obviously the job is done. But I think... It's not done. Well, not really done. More like the job is close to being accomplished or in that right, right direction of, like, progression or something. Because, like, playing your first show and then, like, some bigger dudes on the name is your first show when you see, like, 10 people... And then your next show you play and you're in that same place but you see two people so you have to think okay what happened that first one that didn't happen this time just analyze that previous show next show coming out there seven people okay that's better than two so that's awesome so it's like all these different like take it all in and learn and push forward type shit that me i gotta work on personally because i work a lot but i like music it does a hobby, <laughs> but I like music. So if I want to push this shit forward, I gotta learn all that shit. Mm -hmm. Everybody gotta learn that shit. Yeah, everybody gotta learn that shit, dude. Cause niggas, it's expensive to fucking hire. You know how long it takes me to post a Facebook post? <laughs> When's the last time I post something on Facebook? Uh, two days. Ago. I know, right? And before that, it was like maybe a week. I'd be disappearing on motherfuckers. Like, I was literally considering, like, hiring a friend of mine to just post on there, like, three times a week. I don't know, just anything, so that it just stays consistent. But, bread. You got anything to, to add to it, or? No. Nope. What about the tag and shit? <laughs> eh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do it. What about the tagging shit? You don't mind when people I'm tagging people that don't support you. Yeah. Why would you do that? Well, it's, it's, <laughs> don't do that. Why would you do that? Don't do that. The outcome on the way ain't worse than what you would tell me. Fuck. Remember back in the day when motherfuckers was like tag like ninety five thousand people and that's it's just one photo. That's what we're saying or something. And that yeah. just gets exactly what you were saying. Three likes. Yeah, it's people be seeing that shit like, come on, bro. Come and my on, whole bro. thing about tagging, I ain't gonna lie. But people don't. I don't tag because you see the shit. Certain people I know see the shit without being tagged because your ass is all. If I get on Facebook, I know with certain people that post every. Fucking day. So yeah. I know you see other shit and scroll every fucking day. If yeah. I, especially if I like it. I like your shit some shit. Not probably every fucking day, but if I feel I like a uh, share occasionally, goddamn. But I know it's some people that I post. I don't post hella music, hella videos, hella pictures, hella events and shit. And hello people are like, oh, I didn't know a blah thing, blah thing. If I see my 
Man, your motherfucking name. Oh, nah, man. you know about it. And the main thing, like, tag me in the next time. You know I don't be on them. Like, nigga, you just posted some shit five minutes ago on Facebook. Yeah. How the fuck you gonna tell me you don't be on fucking social media? I just nigga? ran an experiment today. <laughs> I just tagged 50 DJs. Tag y'all on the bitch, too. I ain't see that shit. Take 50 DJs. I ain't been on today. Yeah, I ain't see that shit. 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 I ain't I just work in a larger group. Yeah, I, I work your in network group. just different. Yeah. <laughs> and your personal network is different from my personal network. There's Definitely. A, there's yeah. a hell of a lot of support. Shout out all those motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. And the fan party. God damn. Shout, shout out, out all those motherfuckers. All shout out to real ones. I don't see a tag. I got it. Probably did. Damn. I got it. Yeah, probably did. Cold is nice. I would have been there. Dang. No, that was the one even was event. It was a website. Oh, that's that's money. Yeah, it was, like, was um, yeah, um, um, not these on WeWork, but uh, yeah. what's called on his on um, on his website. Yeah, that's his, his personal one. The wit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I ain't see shit. it. I ain't uh, see a tag, but I've been there a few yeah, times already. The yeah, VJ can see it. Go with. Yep. I actually have that shit bookmarked on my shit. I ain't even promoting that mixtape like that lately. Dude, I've been. I be bookmarking and shit just in case you drop some shit on some like rare ass like three in the morning shit because I feel like you type of nigga do that just like and then just like dip off and see I used to do that shit. Actually, he know I used to do that shit because I leave his house at one two o'clock in the morning and shit like finish the job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've definitely we used to do that type of shit three in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,